Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. What's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing out there? Listen, last week, you know, I tried something very daring. And that was just coming off the dome, right? But this week, God gave me the idea almost the day after I finished last week. So it's a whole nother thing this week. Whole nother thing. Umi ma'u. Umi ma'u. And, to, and the, the libation this week is I'm going to speak an ancestral name over every person who, who chats to me this evening. Umi ma'u. You are Shirley Chisholm. Ashe. Joe Ka. You are Zora Neale Hurston. Ashe. Alonzo. You are Malcolm X. Ashe. Yes. Akachi. You are Martin Luther King. Ashe. Q, what's up, Q? How you doing? Yes, yes, yes. Q, you are Daisy Bates. Yes, 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 yes. Umi Bahati Jala. Umi Jala. Umi Jala. You are Nanny of the Maroons. Yes. Kenneth Hammonds. Brother Kenneth Hammonds. You are Nat Turner. Ashe. Yes, 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 yes. Come on in here, y'all. Trin Bailey, you are Marcus Garvey. Ashe. Mom, Rose Marie Norman, you are Fanny Lou Hamer. Yes, yes, yes. Joyce White. What's going on, Joyce White? Joyce White, you are Ann Petrie. Yes. Come on. Come on, come on. Y'all stay with me now. Stay with me now. Lenise Littleton, you are Amaya Angelou. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Miss Alifa Walton, you are, who are you? You are Rosa Parks. Yes, Baba Bakari, you are Huey, you are Huey Newton. Yes, Tracy McGee, Tracy McGee, you are Brianna Taylor. Oh God, Kimberly Padgett, come on, don't play with it. Kimberly Padgett, you are Sandra Bland. Ooh, Wagaye, Wagaye, come on, hang in there, Wagaye, hang in there, Wagaye, hang in there, Wagaye, hang in there, Wagaye, Wagaye. You are James Baldwin. Yes, 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 yes. Mel Christopher, you are James Cone. Yes, Anita Hammond. You are Emmett Till. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Umi Imoyese Uno, you are Gwendolyn Brooks. Yes, Obata Kufanyatana, you are Tamir Rice. Oh my God. Woo, Akusawa, Akusawa, you are Harriet Tubman. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Somebody stay with me this evening. Come on, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Because I got a new African spiritual. I discovered a traditional African spiritual system that I'm about to show to you. You better, say, you better stay with me. You better stay with me. I'm telling you. Listen, this thing has been on me all week long. A new African spiritual system. That has not yet been named. I'm about to name. I'm going to name it and I'm going to describe it to you. Oh, you better stay with me on this week. Marcus McDaniel, you are James Cleveland. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And listen, I need everybody, if you would, stop for a minute and push share. Just push share so this message goes all to your friends and all your Facebook folks. If you would share, I would be really, 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 really appreciative. Thank you so much. Catherine Carter. Catherine Carter. Yes, Catherine Carter. Catherine Carter, you are Marsha P. Johnson. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Kamara Coxum. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> no, Tobiko. You are Minnie Ripperton. Christy Moore. What's going on, cuz? You are Marion Anderson. Hey! Ajani Nafala. What's going on? One of the greatest Jali on this side of heaven. You are Nelson Mandela. Hey! Come on, somebody. Woo! Yes, y'all, help me get the word to the people. Help me get the word to the people. Just push share. If you wouldn't mind, just hit share real quick and just help me get the word to the people. A new African spiritual system. I'm about to introduce it to you. I'm about to introduce it to you. I can barely hold myself. Literally, I can barely hold myself. Woo! God, help me on this evening. Come on, y'all, jump on in. Jump on in. Come, come on, y'all. Jump on in. Jump on in. Broderick McBride, you are Toussaint Louverture. Hey! Oh, my God. Woo! Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Gianna, what's up, my student? Gianna, what's going on, Gianna? Gianna, you are Ida B. Wells. What's going on, Sean Anthony Christian, one of the greatest scholars in this country? Sir, you are Thurgood Marshall. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, get the names of these ancestors all over you. Oh, my God, today. 
Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Yes, 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 yes. I'm speaking greatness upon every single one of us. Winifred Brown, the soul, the love of my life. You are Sojourner Truth. Yes, ma'am. Woo. My God. Miss Pat. Yes, ma'am. Mama Fujo. You are Phyllis Wheatley. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, DeSavian. Come on, DeSavia. Come on, sir. Yes, 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 yes. You are Chinua Achebe. Yes, Ashe. Kelly Smith. You are Billie Holiday. Ashe. Montrese Wright. Ha <laughs> ha. We know her as E.B. Woomy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. E.B. Woomy. Absolutely. You are Ella Baker. Yes. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Gather up. 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 Yes, Nina LaBelle Thomas. We know that great, wonderful young man as Najamba Wale. Najamba Wale, you are Martin Delaney. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. God is setting something up right now. I feel it. God is setting something up at this very second. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Joseph Hines, ooh, wee, zay, yay. Sir, you are Charles Drew. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, come on. Zipporah Hicks. Yes, what's going on, cuz? Hey, you are Aretha Franklin. Yes. Karen Hunt, you are Tony Morrison. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. Woo, y'all. What are y'all doing to me on this evening? Octavia Lewis. Oh, my God. My, listen. She and I shared the same womb in one of these lifetimes. You are Coretta Scott King. Yes, yes. Ha, ha, ha. Elizabeth Blossom. Y'all know who that is? We call her Sheriffine. Liz Wright, the famous, the most famous singer going right now. Liz Wright, you are Hattie McDaniel. Oh, my God. Victoria Joe Washington. Come on. My dear sister. My dear sister. Yes, my dear sister. My dear sister, you are Prince. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh gosh. Yes, ma'am. Tamala McKay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You are who shall you be? You are Minnie Ripperton. Wow. Yes. 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 Sharon Strange, my dear sister, my dear sister, my colleague across the street at Spelman, a brilliant, brilliant poet. Sharon Strange, you are Mahalia Jackson. Yes. Yes, we're gonna do just a few more. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Woo, God. Help me on today. Help me on today. Help me on today. Christian Bettison. Yes, 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 yes. Christian. Christian, you are Jesse Owens. Oh, wow. Whew. And y'all, all of us, we are our ancestors remade. We are the ancestors come again. They were marvelous and so are we. In fact, we're marvelous because of them. We marvelous because they came and because they paved the way for us, for every ancestor and for those dwelling in you. Ashe, Ashe, and Ashe, Y'all, I have rarely been this excited about a lesson. Y'all know, I, you know, I'm excitable. Everybody knows that. I'm excitable. But when I tell you this lesson has me so excited because I didn't realize this. An African spiritual system, a traditional African spiritual system. Hey, Kyle Fox, right here beneath our nose, and we didn't even know what to call it. I got it, though. I got it. I got it. I got it. Y'all know our tradition. Y'all know our tradition, right? Y'all know our tradition. So the first thing that we have to do is our proverbs. Yes, 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 yes. Our proverbs. And these proverbs this week are actually coming from the Bible. These are biblical proverbs. Yes, <clears throat> biblical proverbs. Help me somebody. Biblical proverbs. Proverbs that come from the Bible. Proverb number one. Train up a child. Come on, somebody. You heard it. In the way he or she should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. Train up a child. You heard it. You heard it. In the way he or she should go. That's what the elders said. And when they're old, they'll come right back to it. My God, my God, my God, my God. Biblical Proverbs. I'm setting something up. I'm setting it up. If you'll stay with me, I'm setting something up right now. Proverb number two. <clears throat> Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. Woo! God. If you sit on that just for a minute, trust in God. Do not always lean 
to the thing you think you believe, to the thing you think you see, to the thing you think you understand. <laughs> Woo, something is more trustworthy sometimes than what you think you know. God, help me on this evening. Come on, y'all. Y'all just keep on pushing share. Just keep on pushing share. There is a way, number three. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. A way that seemeth right unto a woman. But the end thereof is death. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ndaye, what's going on? One of the founders of Nzinga, Ndaye. We're going to hear from her in, in very, very soon, coming weeks. Yes, Insanzia, what's going on? Barbara Burke, what's going on? Yes, yes, yes. There's a way that seems right. It seems right. It feels right all over your spirit. And it's wrong. Lord, have mercy. Oh, my God. <clears throat> wow. Next proverb. As iron sharpens iron. So doth a man or woman the countenance of their friends. As iron sharpens iron, so does a man or woman the countenance of their friends. You know what that proverb is saying? Get you some friends that will hold you up in terms of your righteousness. Not that will simply tell you what you want to hear. Get you some friends that are committed to your character. Get you some friends that are committed to upholding your righteousness even if you don't like it. Hey! Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, somebody. That's the kind of friend you want. Wow. Next proverb. A cheerful heart, my God, is good medicine. But a crushed spirit, a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Ooh, a cheerful heart is like a medicine. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. My God, my God, my God, my God. Next proverb. Y'all stay with me now. <clears throat> I love this. I love, my grandmother used to repeat this. There are six things the Lord hates. <laughs> Yea, even seven. Come on, come on now. Haughtiness or pridefulness. Lying. Murder. Plotting evil. Eagerness to do wrong, a false witness, and sowing discord in a community. Wow. Sowing discord in a community. Wow. Things that God hates. Lying. Wow. Pride. Proudness. Someone who loves doing wrong things. Murder. Taking up someone's life. My God. My God. Y'all stay with me. Proverbs. Biblical Proverbs. I love this one. A man's heart plans his destiny. A man's heart plans his destiny. Then God directs his path. I wish somebody could would just lift your hands right there. A man's heart, a woman's heart plans her destiny. Then God directs her path. Oh, my God. Ooh, that thing blesses me on today. Come on, somebody. Toka Waters, lift your hands with me. Sean, lift your hands with me. Pr next proverb. Pride goes before destruction and an arrogant spirit before a fall. Ooh. Pride goes before destruction and an arrogant spirit before a fall. Lord, have mercy. Help me on today. Now, this next one has always been one of my favorites. Next proverb. A gentle answer turns away wrath. A gentle answer. You ain't got to cuss nobody out to correct them. Come on, somebody. You ain't got to shout and scream and holler because somebody did you wrong. Listen, the power of your ashe is not in the shout. It's in your clarity. Somebody's going to get that. I can yell at you got that right there. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come, come on in, zombie. Your ashe is not in the screaming. Your ashe is in your clarity that you believe what it is you said. Oh, God. Oh, God. Set me up. Oh, God. I feel it coming. <clears throat> oh, my God. Now, my father used to say this next one all the time. Some of you heard it, too. Spare the rod and spoil the child. But those who discipline loveth. What? 
Those who discipline a child loveth. And let me take off these glasses and say to you, I have lived 50 years now and I'm here to tell you, the hardest thing in the world is for a person to try to acquire discipline as a grown person. It almost breaks a person. If you are a parent, if you have influence over children, whatsoever, Ever you do, discipline them young. Do it young. The old folks used to say, bend that sap while it is young. Because it'll yield to it. Hey! Listen, it'll bend in whatever direction you push it. But if you let that thing get deeply rooted and then you try to bend it, you're going to have to break it first. I'm talking good. I'm talking good. I'm talking good. I'm talking good. Next proverb. With all thy getting get wisdom though it costs you everything get understanding oh god you know what this proverb hits me so hard because you know what it's really saying i don't care what you do in life i don't care what you acquire i don't care what you buy i don't care what you gather if whatsoever you do get wisdom and you know why because without wisdom you can't keep it you can get it but you can't keep it. Oh my God on today. Listen, this thing is blessing me. <clears throat> this thing is blessing me. Next one, you'll love this one. <clears throat> Life and death. Life and death are in your mouth. Life and death are in your mouth. Oh, God, if we understood the no more power we had to speak over someone's life and it brings and it brings forth blessings and it brings forth beauty. Or if we understood that in our rage, sometimes in our anger, sometimes in our frustration, sometimes the negative things we speak, that we plant seeds of destruction in other people's destiny. <laughs> Woo! God, help me. Somebody help me today, please. Somebody help me today. This next proverb, beautiful. A good name is rather to be had hey, than great riches. A good name. Listen, people. A good name is rather to be had than great riches. And you know why? <coughs> Y'all, excuse me. You know why a good name is rather to be had than great riches? Because if you got a good name... People are going to bring the wealth in front of you and lay it before you. <laughs> a good name is wealth. Come on, somebody. A good name is wealth. Come on. Woo! Love this next proverb. Stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. Walk with the wise and become wise. Walk with the wise and become wise. Yes, yes, yes. Walk with the wise and become wise. Come on, somebody. Help me now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Next proverb. Whoever loves discipline loves wisdom. Oh, God. These are proverbs from Proverbs, the book of Proverbs. Whoever loves discipline loves wisdom. Come on, Akabundu. Come on. Come on, Dr. Foster. Whoever loves discipline loves wisdom. Oh, God, help me today. Woo. Next proverb. Foolishness, foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction will drive it far from them. Oh, God, somebody stay with me today. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction will drive it far from them. My God, this last one is not a proverb from the Bible. It's something my grandmother used to say, and I'm, I'm segueing. Stay with me now. Somebody's going to lift your hands when you hear this. <clears throat> my grandmother used to say, if you dig one ditch, you know it. If you dig one ditch, you better dig two. Oh, my God. You cannot plot someone else just else's destruction without include, including your own. You cannot destroy another life without your life being the ransom for it. Come on, somebody. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm talking today. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. Now listen. I want you to hear me very good. <clears throat> I thought about this so intensely. This new African spiritual system. There is an African spiritual system I'm about to introduce you to, but you got to stay with me. You got to stay with me. You have to stay with me. You got to stay with me. This new African spiritual system. We, and many of us practice this. We just didn't know we practice it. I'm just going to name it and I'm going to tell you the tenets of this system. Uh huh. Many people these days are looking for spiritual alternatives to religion. Come on, Reverend, come on, Reverend Melva Sampson. Come on. You've heard this, right? I'm tired of church. I'm sick of church, right? I'm, I'm over church. Church hurt. Uh-huh. Black youth all across the country have stated their frustration with the church or their downright denunciation of it. Yet search diligently for some spiritual system that might satisfy their need for a bridge into the invisible. Some have explored traditional African belief systems, such as the Yoruba Orisha, uh -huh, Santeria, Vodun, the Intu system of the Bakongo. Uh -huh. And these, of course, are legitimate African-centered means by which one can examine God and the universe. But I think we've missed something here in the Americas, something that's right before our eyes. But it's so subtle and so ubiquitous that for the most part, it has gone unnoticed. Stay with me, somebody. If you'll stay with me, if you'll stay with me. I'm proposing, I'm proposing right here, that there's another traditional African spiritual system that would work for many diasporan Africans if only we recognized it. it, is, it it's gone unnamed and thus in some ways unknown, although it's been around since antebellum days. Mm -hmm. It did not evolve formally. In fact, I would guess that it came together rather slowly over time amidst great frustration with the limited nature of black life during slavery. But it came nonetheless. Good evening, Brother Eddie Glaude. How you doing, doctor, doctor, doctor? Loving my life. David Malbranch, what's going on, beautiful? Cindy, what's going on? But this spiritual system did come. And it has sustained many, including our own grandmothers and grandfathers, aunties and uncles, who sometimes practiced it without knowing what to call it. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Ire Ife Oluwa, you better stay with me this evening. Well, I'm going to name it tonight. Mm -hmm. Many have spoken about it, <clears throat> and academics have referred to it and referenced it on many occasions and in many ways. But few, very few, have thought about it as a traditional African spiritual system. And yet, before I reveal its name, let me be clear that something, hear me good now, I'm going out in deeper water, something can be legitimately African without it coming from Africa. I'm going to say that again. Something can be legitimately African without it coming from Africa. Uh-huh. Stay with me. Uh-huh. This tension has led to a division among African people globally. Right. Some who believe that unless one was born in Africa, their creations cannot be assigned identity and origin of the place. <laughs> this is unwise and unintelligent people. Metaphorically, it means that the leaves of the tree are not as much tree as the trunk. <laughs> Somebody better stay with me. But black people everywhere are the tree. We are tree people everywhere we go. Stay with me. Those in Ghana even speak tree. Somebody go get it. You're going to get it. We are tree people. Any tree that separates itself from its own leaves is a doomed tree. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. Listen, the DNA of the tree is in the leaves. Oh, my God. The point of the leaves on a tree is to reach a bit further than the trunk might be able to go. <laughs> Woo! The point of the leaf on the tree is to test the wind, if you will, to determine the direction in which we should grow. Somebody is going to get this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The point of the leaf. Oh, God, today, somebody stay with me. Gianna, stay with me. Oh, Baba Bakari, you better stay with me. The point of the leaf is to fall 
uh -huh, and to disintegrate back into the soil and nurture all over again the thing that produced it. It's a perfect symbiosis. Come on, somebody. An exchange of life for life. Uh-huh. This is the relationship between Mother Africa and her diasporan children. They are, we are, as African as Mama is. <laughs> Just in another time and another place. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with you. You got to stay with me now because I'm going out a little deeper. This new African spiritual system born and practiced here in the Americas, this new African spiritual system is what I call Thank you, Lordy. I can't hear nobody. Thank you, Lordy. See, this is not Christianity. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Lest you believe this is just black version of Christianity. No, no, no. Thank you, Lordy is an African spiritual system. Uh-huh. That our ancestors conjured and constructed once they got to this land. They took the words of someone else's language uh -huh, and put it with the concepts and the idiomatic expressions and the linguistic play of their own tongue and came up with a way hey, uh -huh, to say very simply, though in a very complex way, thank you, Lordy, as a means by which of empowering themselves on an hourly basis. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Lordy. Thank you, Lordy. Now, least, least you take this too lightly. <coughs> <clears throat> there are tenets of thank you, Lordy. God, somebody help me today. There are tenets of thank you, Lordy. It's not just thank you. Ah, 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 ah. There's a way you do thank you, Lordy. Hey! The first requirement of thank you, Lordy, the first requirement of thank you, Lordy, is Sankofa. Oh, somebody's about to run. The first requirement of thank you, Lordy, is Sankofa. In other words, the first requirement of thank you, Lordy, is memory. How do you know? Uh-huh. Because those who practice thank you, Lordy, say, my soul looks back and wonders. Hey, thank you, Lordy. My soul looks back and wonders. That's memory. That's memory. That's Sankofa. That's traveling back into the past that I might get my clarity about who God is today. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, memory, 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 Sankofa as a tenant of thank you, Lordy. Uh-huh, the songwriters, right, of those who practice thank you, Lordy, they say, count your blessings. Name them one by one by one. See, in order to count your blessings, you got to remember them. Ah! In order to name them one by one, you got to go back and remember and pull up blessings that you forgot. One of the tenets of thank you, Lordy, is that you remember. You can't throw away what happened yesterday and practice thank you, Lordy. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Black folks say morning by morning. Hey, morning by morning. Y'all, that's memory. That's memory because they're calling up what happened yesterday morning. How? And what happened then this morning? Oh, come on, somebody. Black folks say, listen, for every mountain, oh God, not one mountain, for all the mountains, God brought me over. Memory, 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 memory. Yes, 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 memory. Clara Ward says, surely, memory, surely, surely, thank you, Lord, surely. Surely if God did it for David, but you got to remember that God did it for David. Come on. If God did it for Sojourner, but you got to remember that God did it for Sojourner. If God did it for Thurgood, but you got to recall that God did it for Thurgood. If, 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 God, if God did it for, for Aunt Lulabelle, but you got to remember, you cannot forget. If you forget, you can't practice. Thank you, Lordy. Because thank you, Lordy, does not exist in this present moment only. Thank you, Lordy, exists over time and space. Hey, thank you, Lordy. Thank you, Lordy, exists before you got here. And thank you, Lordy, gives you something. And you got to take that on into the Easter, on into the next part. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh. Thank you, Lordy, says, when I look back over my life and I think things over, memory, Sankofa. Woo! Y'all heard the song, all my good days outweigh my bad days. The only way you would know that is to remember them. Y'all got me sweating up in here. Thank you, Lordy. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Lord. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You got to remember. You got to remember. But memory is an African mastery. Sankofa, it says, oh, hold on. Go back. And that's what thank you, Lord, at first, its first requirement is that you go back. You got to go back and get it. You got to go back and retrieve what you threw away. You got to go back and get what you lost. You got to go back and get what you never knew. Hey, my God. Whew. That thing will make you lift your hands. It'll make you lift your hands. That's the first requirement of thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord. Y'all stay with me. Stay with me now. We talking good. We going deeper. We going deeper. Second requirement. The second tenant of thank you, Lord. It is a kinesthetic tenant. Oh, God, it's a kinesthetic tenant. And that is, thank you, Lord, it requires that you move. Thank you, Lord, it requires a physical, uh-huh, a physical sacrifice. Oh, Melva Sampson. Hey, it requires that you yield your sweat in order to see the magnitude and the power of God. Come on, huh? To practice, thank you, Lord, you got to clap your hands. You got to raise your hands. Come on, somebody. You got to stomp your feet. Come on, you got to do your dance. Hey! God Almighty, you got to sway with the beat. But whatever you do, you got to move. Because movement, stay with me somebody, movement and spirit go together. Movement ushers spirit forward. Come on somebody, movement is the thing. Movement in Africa we call dance. Dance and music are, are the opposite sides of the same praise. And thank you, Lord, you got to see the more you put your body into it. Come on, somebody. The more your actual energy, the more the, the, the molecules of your very being get into the clarity and they help you remember. They help you praise. Uh -huh. They help you push your way through. They help you charge your way through. Right. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me now. Come on now. And, and, and you don't even have to dance, but you got to do something physical. Some, some people, some people, you know, when they get really, really charged, spiritually, they just make the ugly face. <laughs> Y'all have seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it. Some people just shake their head. Mm, mm, mm. That's fine. All of that's fine. All of that's fine. But you got to do something because stay with me. Stay with me. You got to do something. The body's movement. It's a kinesthetic ashe. A to the presence of spirit. It is dance. The body's movement is dance, if you will, in modified form. It is an anatomical confirmation that God is still God and you know it. Oh! Come on, somebody. I wish I could hear some. Listen. Ha! Ah, thank you, Lordy. Thank you, Lordy. Stay with me now. Thank you, Lordy. <clears throat> Come on now. Woo! God help me today. Yes, another tenant, number three, another tenant of thank you, Lordy. Another tenant of thank you, Lordy. Uh huh, stay with me. <coughs> Is the use of the human voice. Practitioners of this faith, faith often use phrases, especially when preachers are preaching, that help move and that help drive the spirit. It's the power of no mo. Hey, it's the power of no mo. The power to join your voice, right, with the prevailing voice in order that all the voices come together and all these voices cry out to God and God comes. So when preachers are preaching, if you're practicing, thank you, Lordy. Those of you who practice, thank you, Lordy. And I'm hoping today after this, many of you will adopt, thank you, Lordy. Right. What I'm really understanding is when preachers preach, folks who practice, thank you, Lordy, might say, yeah, Lord. Uh-huh. <laughs> they might say, won't he do it? I can't hear nobody. Huh? They might say, uh-huh, come on with it. They might say, oh, praise his name. <laughs> they might say, let the Lord use you. They might say, can't nobody do me like Jesus. <laughs> they might say, have your way, oh God. Hey! They might say, come on up in here. Woo! They might say, go ahead, pastor. They might say, hey, tell it like it is. They might say, talk about it. They might say, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They might say, ma, ma. <laughs> Somebody might say, she's coming down my street now. They might say, oh, Bishop, get off my toes. They might say, my grandmother used to say, bless his name, bless his name, bless his name. Somebody might say, you talking good today. But you got to say something. Uh huh. Because the energy of your chakra is supposed to meet the energy of the speaker's chakra. And they're supposed to agree. And in that agreement is when something called the Holy Ghost comes. You got to say something. This is your no more sacrifice. Your vocal offering. Somebody stay with me. Your eh hey praise. Oh, 
The more practitioners talk, the more freely the spirit moves because collective speech, come on y'all, collective speech conjures, collective speech conjures more than one's individual declaration. Oh my God. When voices blend together like that in a moment of spiritual reckoning, y'all, the ancestors get excited and they get excited because it looks like once again, their people have come together and the people are on, on one accord and the people are in unity. When we are in unity, oh my God, when human beings come together, the ancestors get excited. They get excited. They get excited. They get excited. Now, when the ancestors get excited, something happens that those who practice, thank you, Lord, call the Holy Ghost. Um, the water's getting deeper. The water's getting deeper. The water's getting deeper. Not the Holy Spirit. Now, that's another thing altogether. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. And what is the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is when the spirit and the movement of spirit gets so thick in the church that you can almost touch it. When it moves and you can't quite help yourself, you feel something all over you, but you cannot see it. It is not tangible. But see, those who practice, thank you, Lord, they're not looking for the tangible. The Clark sisters told us, uh-uh, I'm looking for the intangible. I'm looking for the invisible. Come on, somebody. And uh-huh, now stay with me. <clears throat> I'm looking for the invisible. This is why when you practice, thank you, Lord, those who practice, thank you, Lord, what they talk about in terms of worshiping God, they talk about this concept of being in. You ever heard people say, baby, we had church today and we were in? Oh, my God. Baby, the choir went in. In? In? We in? Wow. Uh-huh. They talk about this idea of being in, what it means to be in, right? Folks say it all the time. What I'm just going to do is explain it to you. That's the first part of the invisible. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What does being in mean? What does that, well, what does that really mean? <clears throat> in is an unidentified experience. Experience with God and ourselves unashamed. Oh my God. In is a posture of submission and surrender whereby we see and feel and hear and know God as a real, living, tangible thing. Come on, somebody. In, uh huh, uh huh, to be in is to be in a realm where there is no white supremacy. I can't hear nobody. To be in is a, a reality where gender vanishes and blessings and beingness reigns. <clears throat> in, in, in meaning in the center of God's essence. In, in mean, meaning in the center of God's power. Uh huh, in, right in, in, baby, we was in, meaning the vulnerability of God's identity was obvious. In, in meaning covered by God's sanctified mercy. In, what does in mean? In, meaning we were open to emotional surrender in ways we had never understood before. In, what does it mean to be in? Hey, what does it mean to be in? Meaning that nothing in the world could touch or harm us in the middle of that moment. We were in, what does that mean? Meaning all the worries of the world had vanished at least for that time and that space. Baby, we were in, we were in. What does in mean? In, meaning that we took a risk to let go and let God. Woo! In the goal of thank you, Lordy, is to be in inside God, invisible, intangible, indestructible. Hey, come on, somebody. Woo! Now I'm gonna give you another something. Number four, I'm giving you, I'm giving you the tenets of thank you, Lordy. Is somebody with me? Uh huh. I'm giving you the tenets of thank you, Lordy. <clears throat> another tenet of thank you, Lordy is knowing how to read scripture, how to do it. Not the ability to read. No, 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 no. The ability to recite the word of God. Come on, somebody. This is not simply the ability to read. Stay with me. It's the ability to recite the word of God, to declare the word of God with your ashe power in your mouth in such a way that the word becomes flesh and becomes alive both to you and to the hearers. Oh, my God. Help me today. Help me today. I'm going to give you an example. Genesis 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the word. That's John 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. Oh, my God. The word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Uh-huh. All things were made by God. And without God was not anything made that was made. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. In God was life. 
Hey! And the life was the light of men. Stay with me now. Stay with me now. Stay with me now. Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness covered the face of the deep. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light. And light showed up. Listen to me very good. My grandmother practiced this. Oh, God. That thing is all over me. My grandmother practiced. Thank you, Lordy. My grandmother lost her sight <coughs> uh, when she was in her 80s. So when I came along as a kid and I loved to read, I would read to my grandmother. And, and my grandmother sometimes would say, hey, get the Bible and read me something from the Bible. I'd open the book and just start reading, right? Stay with me, you know. I started reading. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form. Grandma said, no, 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 no. You call in words. Somebody's going to get that. Somebody's going to get that. She said, you call in words. I don't want you to call words. I want you to read it to me. And I was like, what does she mean? What is she talking about? I say, well, in the beginning, God created. She said, no, 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 no. You just saying words, son. You ain't doing them but saying words. And you saying them too quick. And I was like, <coughs> Grandma, what are you talking about? She said, slow down. Slow down. And walk with the words. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. And so I started, and I finally got it. I said, in the beginning, God. And she said, all right now. And I realized what my grandmother was asking me for. She could read. Her sight had gone bad, but she could read. She said, no, 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 no. I'm not asking you to read the words to me. I'm asking you to put your own ashe. She didn't know the word ashe, but she was asking for ashe. <laughs> she didn't know the word ashe, but she knew the concept ashe. And she was asking for it. I can't hear nobody on today. And if you read and write, those of us who practice, thank you, Lordy. If you read and write, what folks in the congregation will say to you is, read, Rita. Now be very careful. Because a reader is not someone who can read. A reader is someone who can conjure. Come on, somebody, this evening. Ooh, help me. Y'all, this ain't no easy thing. Practice and thank you, Lordy. You got to study this. You have to study what people mean. You have to study the depths. Our people know far more than their mouth can articulate. See, the limitations of our language do not speak the limitations of our spiritual understanding. Oh, my God. Help me today. Help me today. Oh, God. <clears throat> Somebody help me today. Help me today. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Somebody help me today. Y'all, the final requirement of thank you, Lordy. There's one more requirement of thank you, Lordy. And that requirement is the willingness for you. Oh, my God. Your ability to talk about, your ability to call forth, your ability to summon the power of God all by yourself. When ain't nobody around but you. When there is no listener, when there is no viewer, when there is no observer. The ability for you to call on God just because you and God walk together. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. It's the ability for you in the middle of your own frustration, right? In the middle of your own worry. The ability for you to call what you know. The, the ability for you to bring it forth, to call it forth. Oh, my God. Listen, you could be preparing for an exam. You done studied for weeks and weeks preparing for this exam. Thank you, Lordy, is on your way to the exam. God, I glorify you. God, I magnify you. God, I put the words in my spirit. Oh, God, bring them forth when it comes time. God, put, take all nervousness away from me, God, and let my performance outshine even, God, the places where I might have fallen short. God, you did it for my mother. God, you did it for my father. God, you did it for Daniel in the lion's den. And God, oh, I know you're not a respecter of persons. God, I thank you. And God, I glorify you. And God, I glorify you that even if I don't pass the exam, God, you're still good. Yes, you are, God. This is just you talking to God yourself. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Lordy. Hey, thank you, Lordy. The ability for you to do it yourself. You, you got to be able to conjure all by yourself, all on your own, in your own time, and in your own space. I can't hear nobody. Your mother might be ill. The ability for you to say, God, go, oh, God, go before me. 
I'm getting my clothes ready. I'm headed to the hospital. But God, I need you to go before me. God, I need you to I need you to steady the surgeon's hand, oh God. God, hey God, I, God, God, I need you to, to help that nurse understand the needs that my mother might have. God, and I need you to go before me and meet my needs. God, where I fall short, I need you to make me complete. God, God, I've not been perfect. God, I've not been always great. God, I've not always done the right thing. God, I've not always said the right thing. But God, what I'm asking you right now, and God, I might be asking a miss, but God, if you can find it somewhere in your heart to, to spare my mother, God, I'll praise your name forevermore. Hey! Hey! Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. There are people who practice thank you, Lord, and never even knew it. This is not Christianity. This is not Christianity. I can't hear nobody. This is not Christianity. No, 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 no. In fact, if you take thank you, Lordy, up in most European Christian churches, they won't even know what you're doing. I can't hear nobody. In fact, thank you, Lordy, doesn't need a building. <laughs> thank you, Lordy, does not require a physical place. We often do it in church, but thank you, Lordy, does not require that at all. Because thank you, Lordy, is a traditional African spiritual system that does not separate the secular from the spiritual, huh? Why, uh-huh. So that you could just be in the middle of driving on your way to work and all of a sudden be so in. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, somebody. Did somebody, huh? You can be on your way to Kroger and it just hits you how God spared your, your son's life. It just hits you that you've been unemployed for six months, but you never missed a meal. And you can be in while you pushing that cart down the, down the aisle in Kroger. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It does not require, it is not limited to time and space. Hey, does somebody hear and understand what I'm saying to you? Thank you, Lord. All you got to do, all you got to do is remember, hey, you got to put your hands together. You got to be willing to dance. You got to be willing to move. You got to be willing to not. You got, you got to be willing to open your mouth and decree, as the folks say, and declare. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. And what I'm suggesting to you is just like Yoruba, uh-huh, stay with me, just like Santeria, thank you, Lordy, is just as legitimate, uh-huh, but we got to claim it as so. We got to claim it as so. Folks have been practicing this for 400 years, and we ain't called it nothing. Uh-huh, that's fine. Thank you, Lordy. <laughs> Thank you, Lordy. God, I glorify you. <clears throat> God, for everybody on this screen, for everybody in this Facebook, for everybody who took a minute to just stop and come here to hear something, God, I pray over their lives. I speak life right now into every single person from this Facebook Live. I speak the desires of their heart coming to pass. I speak the fruit of discipline. <laughs> I speak right now, love interest made whole. I speak right now, oh, oh God, correction that would be thorough, but would still be loving. Oh God, everybody on this screen right now. Hey! God, listen, I don't care what they practice. I don't care what they believe. I don't care if they don't believe in you at all. God, you believe in them. Ha <laughs> ha! That's all that's required. Oh God, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. <coughs> God, what I'm saying on this evening is help us to be practitioners. A thank you, Lordy. Might we never forget. Might we never forget to just stop and get clear that if it had not been for the invisible, the indestructible, the incomprehensible, as the old folks say, I don't know where I would be. Ooh, God Almighty today. Y'all, I love you. I love you. And I thank you. And I glorify you. Thank you, Lordy. Hey, thank you, Lordy. Ah, thank you, Lordy. Thank you for grandmothers and grandfathers who practice. Thank you, Lordy. Thank you for mothers who practice. Thank you, Lordy. While we were laughing at them. <coughs> thank you, God, for uncles. Thank you, God, for a whole people. A whole people who had enough sense to know that their own African concepts would work in a new place too. Thank you, Lordy, is just as African as anything you've ever seen anywhere in your life. If you go to Africa, you're going to see Thank You, Lordy. I can't hear nobody. Thank You, Lordy was on the Middle Passage. 
Thank you. Hey, God. Thank you, Lord, it was on the plantation. Thank you, Lord, it was in the middle of the civil rights movement. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And God, we thank you. Hey, thank you, Lord. Hey. Ooh. And with that, might you never, ever, ever be sad again. I love y'all. Thank you, Lord.